are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> missed with that attempt. Well, he misses with the left punch there. being landed on both sides here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Welcome, shock him out of the shoot here. Okay, okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. He 
He's looking to land the right just out of range. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nice head kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Just unable to quite find that range. Pretty good right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, that's a nice strike. Cable pinches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, collar tie. That Ooh, knee. Big that knee. knee hurt him. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Look at the turtle in that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch land. Straight right is there. Watch that strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very fast. His head kicks. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. What a punch. Round one winding down here. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Second round, straight ahead. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He blocks the punch. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Lee going for the head kick, no dice. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That strike blocked by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, with authority, the body. What a fight we got going on here. Back to the jab now, no good. He has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Now we're going. Good takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now it's his mount. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Back to the feet now. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Head kick. Body kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice knee by Lee. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. Even the other feet right now. Right hand upstairs. <laughs> Looks like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Lou. His leg is hurt here. You can see attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round.
Escape DC. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Lee gets back up, no surprise there. Big kick land. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That was a thudding leg kick. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big punch lands over the top. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Just out of range with that left hook. Massive head kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Seconds to go in this one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Checks that leg kick. Nice, nice. nice body kick right under the elbow. Final seconds here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Oh, 
All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. into that leg kick. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Lee. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. that leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Misses there with the left. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh. Man, look how quickly he gets that foot. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Well, you know, I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the Gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Close guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Might be a submission attempt here, Trent. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Big body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying... He 
He's able to work his way back to his feet. Oh, straight right. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds remain in the round. Nice punch land. a straight punch there, DC. Let's we'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Fifth and final round. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Big and kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Whoa! Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Oh, he got him bad! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Beautiful body. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big leg kick land. Right idea, wrong execution. The counter right is no good. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Underneath that left elbow, he is badgering that left side of the body. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice right hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, a huge block there. Whoa, whoa, like the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, no doubt an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance. And when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. smiling ear to ear and why not after a knockout like that i need a ticket to the after party tonight. i mean this is what dreams are made of you dream of the knockout like this and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork